Okay, hey, it's me. I'm back again. I have a delay on the last video. I'm just doing a plush review since I still am working on it. It's about to be done. I just need to finish about three to four more clips and then it will be uploaded. It's just been taking a lot of trial and error. But instead, we've got a plush review. So we're just going to start here and let's go. So, like you saw, I have Foxy as my first ever FNAF plushie. He's a really good plush overall. I love him. But the only problem is that I have a bunch of dust and dirt and some Sharpie on him. He's not worth anything anymore, okay? He's not worth nothing. He used to be. But that's all I have to say about him. Next, I'm going to sit him over there. And next, we are going to wave two, if I can get the stuff off of him, Nightmare Freddy. He's really beat up. Again, these are from when I was, like, five. But these are really beat up. And here's some stuff. I could wash this off. This is going to get messed up if I wash him. That stuff is going to get messed up because there's nothing covering here. But I like him. He's not my favorite, but I like him. I love the Nightmares plushies. I wish I could have got my hands on Nightmare Bonnie and Nightmare Foxy too. They would have been really cool additions to this. Meh. But that's all I have to say about him, so I'm going to sit him with Foxy. We're going to grab a really good condition one. Mangle. She is in almost perfect condition. And that's really it. She is my favorite plush I have of all time. She's my favorite. I love the detail they put into this. Plus, this is the re-release version, so I really, really like it. But, let me just get you, have you get a good look at Mangle. Get a whole turnaround look. I really like the red bow tie. I like that it stands out on this with the red. They do need the lipstick here, too, but I'm not going to say anything, really, and get on about it. I like it. So, we're just going to sit him here. That's wave... That's only wave one and my two wave two characters. Now, we are going to move on to... I have one FNAF 3 character, then we're going to be moving on to sister location. So, let's get to that. Okay, so, like I said, I have one FNAF 3 character. It is Phantom Foxy. He is an exclusive to Target. Um, I got this from a friend. I traded them a Blacklight Foxy plushie. And... It came out really good overall, but I kind of don't like it. I don't really have a lot to say. It's just foxy in a different color. I don't have a lot to say about this, so I can't really explain anything. But like I said, he is exclusive, so he's pretty rare to find. I might end up selling him. I might. Not guaranteed, but I might. So I might sell him for around... 30, 40 bucks, because he is exclusive, so I'm not selling him for no 15 bucks. I'm selling for 30 or 40. But that's him. Now we are going to move on to the black lights and the sister location. Okay, so sister location's after this, so we have black light cupcake for the first of the black light wave. I only have two of them for these, but he's the first of the black light wave. A little spin around, I like that you can mess with them like this. He is my only cupcake plush. I do not have any others. I don't have Nightmare Cupcake, Normal Cupcake, none. I only have him. I found him in Walmart. So I got pretty lucky there was only one of him left. But I can't really say anything about him. I don't really like him that much. So I'm going to sit him over here. And next, my other black light, I have Black Light Freddy. Again, I, I actually really like this one. I don't like Cupcake that much, but I like this. He's probably in my top 10. He's probably in a 7. He's probably at 7. 6 or 7. One of them. Most likely six, because I really like the plushie. So, that's really all I can say about him. You see more Legos over there. But, it's not off topic. Again, he is, again, a really good plush. He's really messed up, though. Because, again, he's really old. I know I keep repeating again. But, he is really old. He's, as far as his nose didn't break, because my original Freddy nose broke before I gave it away. But that's him. Now you're going to cut into the sister location wave. Okay, before I show the first sister location one out of the two I have, you're about to be like, oh my god, he doesn't take care of the plushes. Because this one, oh my god, is so messed up, you can't even imagine it. 
It's Funtime Foxy. It is so messed up. I ruined this thing completely. I don't know what I did to this thing when I was younger, but I ruined it. I just straight up ruined it. Like, this plushie was so good. And I... He's just... She's, he's just destroyed. It's a good plushie, but he's destroyed. And it has the Rockstar bow tie too. Notice that now. He's one of my first couple plushies. I, he's, I'm just going in order of the waves. But that's that. So... That's all I have to say about him. Moving on to Funtime Freddy. He's next to me. Okay, now that we're on to Funtime Freddy, I just gotta say one thing before starting. Hey, Born Born! I don't know why I have to do that. It's just a joke at this point. I It's really old, but I still like doing it sometimes just to mess around. But, like I said, I like Funtime Freddy. He's kind of goofy. He's really goofy. I like that about him, though he's really hard. I don't know why. Funtime Foxy's soft. He's really hard to squeeze. Bon Bon isn't, but he is. I don't know why they made him this way, but he hurts to push him. I like the new bow tie design. I don't know why they couldn't just use the Funtime Foxy bow tie, have it black, the fabric, but he's in good condition. Almost perfect. Just a couple of dust and there's a line there, but he's in perfect condition almost. I like him. That's all I have to say about him. And now we're going to be moving on to, let me look behind me, the Pizzeria Simulator. Okay, let's start. Okay, to start off Pizzeria Sim, we have Helpy. I do not like him. He is really inaccurate. He's cute, but he's inaccurate. To the real Helpy like, guy in FNAF Sim Pizzeria Sim. He's really dirty too. So I'm not taking time to explain this. You can get mad if you want. I'm not explaining him. I don't like him. What I do like is Rockstar Foxy. He is part number six. Actually, no, he's number five. Number, yeah, number five in my top ten. In my favorites. He is really goofy again. I like make. I can do faces with him. But he's a really good design plush overall. I really like him. He is really nice. I love this plushie. I like that they gave him a little parrot as a little, you know, a little hidden detail on him. Not hidden, but it's detail that's sewed onto him. Little look around of him. That's really him, but okay, sit him over here with everyone else. And next up we have Pig Patch. He is number seven in my favorites. I love the Pizzeria Sim animatronics, really. He like he's not goofy as the others, but in some way he's kinda cute. In a funny way. I like messing with him. You seen the accent I used with him? You know, this kind of cow, a cowboy accent, like from the Western. I don't know why I like doing that. I just think the voice fits him. He's a pig. I think it fits him. He, he's on a farm, really. So it fits him. And we're going to be moving on to Happy Frog, the exclusive of the wave, besides Mr. Hippo. She is a Walmart exclusive. I messed her up, though, sadly. But. I like her. She's so far the only other exclusive. I forgot to mention, Mangle is a Walmart exclusive. I forgot to mention that. So that's one other one I had. But she is also a Walmart exclusive to the wave. Mr. Hippo was the other. I don't have him. Next, we're going to be moving on to the Curse of Dreadbear wave. I have three plushies for those. So we're going to go to that now. Okay, so first up, we have Jacko Barney. For the Curse of Dreadbear wave that came out in 2021 or 2022. I'm not sure. I think it's 20. Yeah, it's 2021. I'm pretty sure. You can correct me in the comments. But I don't keep up really with these. I just really like them. But Jack of Bonnie is my least favorite of the wave. He is ill. I don't like the way they made the mouth. They should have went with the Nightmare Bonnie design. They really should have. It would be much higher quality. And the bow tie is really hard with this fabric. I don't, it feels uncomfortable. It's just uncomfortable to hold. The ears, they're like original Bonnie ears, but they're backwards. I don't know why they made them that way, but they did, and I hate it. So we are going to just forget that thing even exists in this universe, and we're going to sit him here. And next we have Jack of Chica. Slightly better plushie. I'm sorry, he tried falling over. Slightly better plushie. I like her better. She's one of my only two Chicas out of everyone. She is a really good plushie. I like the effort put into this because we can't say any corrections really because this is the only 
nightmarish version of Chica there is. There's no actual Nightmare Chica plush, except fan-made. But Jacko Chica is a really nice design plush. She's I like that they gave her the little holes like she's supposed to have about the inside because she's supposed to be a jack-o'-lantern, though it had looks like one. Wish they gave her a pumpkin on her on her, like a shoulder or something, but that's her. Next up we have we have Captain Foxy. He's the only other one I have for this wave. I got him on Christmas of 2021. But, but I love this plushie. I don't know. He might be exclusive. I don't know if he is or not. I'm pretty sure he is to Walmart or Target, depending. I don't know where my mom got this from. But I don't know why his tooth... Like, this teeth always love doing this. Like, one wants to go up and the other one's like this. I don't know why they do that. But he's a really nice plushie. I love him. He's number... He's number... What's his... What's it called? I'm trying to remember the number. He's number nine. He's either eight or nine in this. In my favorites. Sit him to the side with everyone else so far. Next, we are going to moving on to the security breach wave. There's only one other animatronic after the vet, after like the security breach, so we're gonna be moving on to that. And this video is closing in to the end. Hi there, superstar. I'm the face of the channel, and this is Glamrock Freddy. I taped on a headband thing on his hat and earring just to make him look more accurate to it. That's what made me like him more and put him on the channel is because he had the earring and the hat stuff I put on him. But he's a really nice design plush. So you can look at him for a few seconds. He's really nice. I love this guy. That's why he's my face on my channel. Little shiny nose. You can see the reflection. But like I was saying, I just got, he's one of my newest. So he's in good condition, obviously. I don't have to sit much say about him. He's just Glamrock Freddy. You can find him at a lot of stores. This is the re-released version. The old one had printed on bow tie. That's how you know this one's re-released. That's why I can still find them. Next up we have is Montgomery Gator. My the other one I voice in the episodes. He is my favorite plush out of every like he's my second favorite. Mangle being first. He is my second favorite plushie. The detail and the work put into this guy is just besides that they're supposed to have this pattern on his butt too but the detail on this is outstanding just outstanding i love that they even remembered the lightning bolt on his face funko like i'm mean, Funko. yeah funko did not remember it on those i don't know why but they remembered it on this i don't know why they didn't for the figure but they remembered it on the plushie but he is my favorite plushie. Like, the second favorite. His hair flops, though. I don't know why. The legs flopping everywhere. But that's him. Next is Glamrock Chica. And she is voiced by... I'm still... Actually, no, she doesn't even have a voice yet. I had to use this weird voice. I don't like it. It sounds gay. I don't know why. It's all I can think of. But I don't like her. I'm looking for a voice actor, so if you want to voice Chica, if you have a high enough voice for her, or a voice that sounds at least like Glamour Chica, please comment and voice act. I'll put my Discord in the comments, or, I mean, the description. Sorry. I'll put it in the description for you to add me if you want to voice act. Chica's open. Then, next up is my last security bridge one. I don't have Vanny, so it's Roxanne Wolf. She is actually a really nice design plush, besides the hair. She's a really good plush, besides that. I like that they give her the tiny little streak there. The eye color, it just matches with her. That's what makes me like her better, is the, the eyes. That color, like the, it's supposed to be light yellow, but the darker color matches more with her, like her style. So I really enjoy that plush, like this plushie. I wish they could have gave her fangs, but this one also was voiced by my best friend, Lila. Her TikTok will be in the description as well, if you want to go follow her. Please do. She's really nice. You can maybe be friends with her if you're lucky. But if you end up being friends with her, she can help you out with voice acting and stuff. She was really good at it. But that's Roxy. Now, there's one last plush before this video ends. It's an AR plush. We are going to move on to him now. Okay, so the final plush of all my, like my newest plushie and the most recent is System Error Toy Bonnie. He is a masterpiece, besides the ear. I don't know what happened to mine's ear, but he is almost a masterpiece. 
I wish he had a good real world tie though. I found him at GameStop on the 14th of August, so he's really new. And I wanna, I might order VR Toy Freddy, either that or if I find them in stores. I'm hoping I find them in stores. It's annoying to order them. But yeah, that's all I have to say about him. You should, I definitely recommend buying this. He's a really good product. Especially for the... Though he's worth $13, you have to buy him for. It's... It's kind of a no reasonable price for this quality of a plush. But... I'm not gonna get on Funko about that. They did a really good job nonetheless. So, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. And... We have... I have two videos coming up soon. One being Nightmares Attack 2. And then a, the second one is... Then, I'm not going to say the name. I told you Nightmares Attack, but you cannot know the other one. That would be spoilers. All I'm going to tell you as a hint is that it has to do mainly of Roxy. Just mainly of her. It's going to be focused on her, really. Her and the other three. It's going to be focused with them. But he'll also be in it, and Captain Foxy will also be there. The, the two, These two and the Glamrocks will also all be in the video. No, The other plushies will not be in it. But that's all I can tell you for now. But, yeah, that's the end of this video. So, I hope you have a good day. Go on, superstar.